So just a few miles north of the official mouth of the Chesapeake Bay, Kipto Peak State Park, or Kipto Peak State Park, or I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it. I'm not the best with that kind of thing. The state park has a wonderful campground and some you know wonderful places to, to do some recreational activities, but the highlight of the state park is the ghost ships. These concrete masses are boats, they're ships. These ships were built in the 1940s. They're McClowski ships that were built down in Tampa Bay, Florida, and they brought them up here. The reason that they're made of concrete is, you know, it's very innovative. In World War II, steel was really hard to come by. So they needed an alternative. This was the trial. We're gonna make ships out of concrete. And although it sounds absolutely insane, they worked for a little bit. They just didn't work really efficiently. Uh, you know, there's a lot of weight that comes with concrete. The reason McClowski's company wanted to try concrete is because new innovations and technologies had made it so that concrete was much lighter in weight than what we had previously been used to before in the 1940s. So he thought maybe there's a chance since, you know, he's trying, it's very innovative. It, he's trying to solve a problem with his innovation. And I think that's really awesome. That's really the spirit of the United States. The thing is, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. Now, what I think is really interesting about this is two of these ships were sunk off the coast of Normandy prior to the invasion of Normandy. And the reason was, is to try to set up a little bit of a barrier of a breakwater for the upcoming invasion. So they made it all the way across the ocean into Europe. But anyway, they ended up here, right north of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. And uh, that's where they sit, just kind of as a, a reef, a barrier. And uh, there used to be a ferry here at one point in time uh, before the tunnel was built. And uh, they were, you know, they thought this was a perfect location for it. And maybe so, I do know one thing for sure. It's a very odd looking sight to see these guys off the coast. It, you understand why they call it ghost ships because it's just, it's kind of eerie. It, you know, they're, it's not something you're used to seeing. It looks like, you know, just, the the wreck the remnants of a you know a catastrophe or a battlefield or something it just you tell me what you think it's very 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 odd to see this type of thing right off the coast in the United States you know maybe for some other countries this is fairly normal you know with the the scars of wars and things over the years but um, it's not real common around here so let's go ahead and check out these ghost ships of Kito Peak just a little more in depth. Virginia's eastern shore was first discovered in 1608 by John Smith, and it is home to some of the most beautiful sites in the Mid-Atlantic. The state park has all of your usual amenities like a camp store, a fishing pier, campsites with yurts, cabins, lodges, or you can do tent camping, 5.1 miles of hiking and biking trails. It's a beautiful park in a really beautiful area. I think the original purpose for these ships was to create a breakwater for the ferry that was running through here. It was a multi-purpose thing. They needed to dispose of these ships and they needed a breakwater for the ferry, so it just kind of fit. There's a total of nine sunken ships. Today, these ships serve as a safeguard to many birds, fish, and dolphins even. Now, as far as I can tell, there's no actual stories of ghosts or hauntings or anything of that sort when it comes to these ships. They simply got their name due to their very eerie appearance. And I can definitely see where they're coming from with that. It's just something that is so unusual to see. And it is a very eerie sight. So if you're ever in the area on the Delmarva Peninsula, or maybe you're from the Delmarva Peninsula, go check out the Katopic Ghost Ships, a really cool sight.